Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, my skin is going through some massive changes. I've changed my skincare routine and I wanted to share that quickly with you that's really affecting my skin. Around the eye area, I'm going through a stage where it's extremely dry and for a reason because I watched Cody's YouTube channel and he was giving some tips on how to tack the wrinkles um, around your eye, the crow feet. So this is what he suggested. And because I was really anxious to get a kickstart about this, um, I, I quickly went to the drugstore and I got a cute little packet that I'm gonna show you. I'm not too sure if you're familiar with Neostrata, but I managed to get a mini package uh, for sale. Um, it was regular prices value is $80 and they were selling the package for $55 then they had $15 off so it was a great deal it came with um gly glycolic uh, face wash which I have in the shower and then the cream which is I think yes it's 10% and what um, Cody was suggesting is um, take a smile and really load it up where your smile lines are and I've been doing this he said to switch it every other night with your retinol well I use prescription retin-a and it's a lot stronger and I'll load it on in this area so it does dry out your skin you're going through a phase but if you keep at it you're gonna have some more beautiful skin and you're supposed to alternate it every other night with this one but I've been wearing this during the day and then my prescription Retin-A at nighttime and that's what I've been doing and I'm gonna do it for one whole month and then back off. So I just wanted to share that I'm going through this experience and let's see one month from now, how is it going to look? But I love to smile. <laughs> so yeah, um, I, I I'm not against getting smile wrinkles and I think it's a really good thing to have and I do wear concealer and it's the NARS creamy um, concealer I've talked about this in the past I don't wear it that often and now I am because I continue to get breakouts which is very very disappointing so the mask I don't like the typical one, the blue one, or they have it in color pink or white, whatever, to cover your face. It just goes right across. So I got this from Costco. It's the KN95 mask, and it's like it looks like a bird beak. And I don't mind wearing it because it's not touching my nose and my mouth, and it feels less weird because the other one i'm making these weird facial expressions underneath and i'm getting a lot of tension around the jaw and this whole area i, I don't know why i'm making these facial expressions it's just not comfortable wearing these masks especially for a long time and i'm really disappointed because my employer they don't supply us this type of uh, face mask they give us the cheapest one and you know they say we're essential and we have to wear it all day at work but they don't provide us the good stuff so I went out to the store to buy it at a local drugstore they sell it for $120 at Costco you can get it on sale for about uh, 17 to 20 dollars regular price I think it was around 30 35 dollars so yeah it's amazing how these retailers know how to jack up the prices so yes, I know you can tell I'm in my towel. I'm just uh, getting up and getting ready to go out and I wanted to quickly film a video because I wanted to talk about a couple of things. When I wash my hair, I've been putting this new Kerastess product. I spoke about it very quickly. This is the bottle and what it looks like. Uh, the packaging is pretty in rose gold and this is like a dropper and this is it and you drop it into your scalp after you washed your hair and um, it's runny sort of like a gel form you just drop it in spots and then kind of massage it into your scalp and that's that and it promises to help with more of hair growth and I know in the front area my hair doesn't grow that much and I don't have that much in that area so um, 
I, I decided to get something like this. So moving on is, um, I know I mentioned in the past that I'm not going to buy any more lipsticks in, in my last Sephora sale order. I didn't order any for myself, but I did order this from the previous Sephora sale and I haven't opened it up. This is my favorite shade also. I know it's very popular on Instagram and YouTube. It's the Tom Ford lipstick in call, um, Spanish pink or the number is 01 and it looks like this and I have it on my lips and I'll just swatch it for you. It's really pretty, it has a TM on and this is the shade. I really, really love this shade and um, it's something I'm gonna wear all summer long. It's super creamy and it's a favorite shade. Now, a lot of people complain that that it goes moldy or something like that or it smells bad I've never had that problem but when I buy lipstick shade I buy it and I really use it um, just starting this YouTube channel I have to admit I'm not w using it all the way down uh, because I have so many more than I normally would have so I already finished up um, the charlotte tilbury lipstick and i talked about that in my beauty trash so i thought it was time to open this up this is a swatch of my liner and that's from lancome called ideal the tom ford uh lipstick i really love this shade it looks a little bit more peachy on me than pinky uh i prefer a little bit more pinky but it is really nice and it's on my lips and i should put some more on so that's what i'm wearing right now so i hope you like this look and on my eyes i have a new combination from laura mercier it's the caviar cream eyeshadow sticks on my lash line i have cobblestone and then au natural above and in the middle uh, to lighten it i have the by terry I think it's called opal or something eyeshadow shade and the mascara i need to talk about that i can't stand the pillow talk mascara i can't use it anymore it actually goes down underneath and i don't know why so i did get a sample from sephora called ilia it's a mascara called limitless lash mascara so i'm wearing this it promises to lift lengthen and curl i can't say that it does that it just coats my lashes it doesn't thicken um would it lengthen i don't know i sort of already have long eyelashes uh so it's enough to coat it and i'm testing it out to see if it smears so far no but i'm fairly new i just used it the past two days and i think oh and i have one more thing that i wanted to show you very quickly lingerie so i just ordered some more because there was a sale and i thought why not and um there was nothing specific that i was looking for so i'm going to give this one a try and let me show it to you it is this here it is and it's silky and this is the back it covers a lot in the back and it gives a lot of, of support and then the the bottom matching set color and it's it was called something gray um, but it looks a little bit more of a lilac purple shade but um, it's very silky it looks very comfortable and very supportive and that's everything that i got so i hope you really enjoyed this and i will see you really soon take care bye